Riley Patterson to kick off for the Lions. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. First down and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Here we go, shot! The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late with a first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That's caught Waddle on the left side. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Back to throw. And my goodness, another interception. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. And they'll indeed take a knee. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got it third and goal here as they try to finish off their victory. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Riley Patterson now on for the field goal. This a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. Patterson's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. To return, here's Agnew, fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. 
where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. A handoff now for Pacheco. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of first. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Well, the guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there, but I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised him a little bit running the ball, yet they rallied to it and stopped him well short of a first down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that will force a turnover on downs. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for the Lions, they run their mark to 6-2 and two on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Buffalo to take on the Bills. Meanwhile, for Brooklyn, they'll fall to 5-3 and three with a loss. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.